What's up guys? What's up? My name is Art. I'm back with another video. And this is the second time I'm doing this because somehow my phone decided to act up. It's like, I don't know what's going on, dude. Oh, well. Now, right here, I'm looking at this type the 10 best-selling comic books of the modern era. Okay. Whew. Now, the fun thing is I have some of these, but not all. Some of these comics, like for example, this one called Torque Dinosaur Hunter, sold 1.5 million copies. You can find that anywhere. Because they sold so, like in the million range, you can find these if you're looking for them. Especially if you're looking for a decent read. There's another one called Death Blow. It's one of my favorite characters. It's Jim Lee's take on the Punisher without being the Punisher. And sometimes with special powers. And then Spawn number 12, which sold over 900,000 copies. Love Spawn. If you saw the movie with J Michael J. White, and they're right now, they're trying to do another movie, and I heard that's on the rocks right now, but who knows. But anyway, Spawn number one, Spawn number one sold 1. 1.7 million copies. Oops, sorry. Now think about this. This sold 1.7 million copies. I probably bought five of these suckers. Now think about it. It was a dollar ninety-five. I bought it for three bucks. This was I bought it for three bucks. You know, years later, because I could, because I didn't. I thought I thought the flood destroyed them, and I find I still got them somewhere. So I bought this for three bucks, and I didn't realize it. But that's okay. It's easy to find. It's not worth much because it sold over a million copies. Oh well. Next ones are like Superman. These are the reign of the Superman. These guys right here. I'm not going to go through them, but they sold over a million, million copies of pieces during the reign of Superman title. So if you get those, those, those are somewhat easy to get because they sold over so million copies. So that's fine. Spider-Man number one. I know I have like two or three of these suckers somewhere in the house. And one day I'm going to get off my ass and redo all my comic books and get them all in order. And I'm afraid that for that. But guess what? That's it sold 2.5 million copies. It's a pretty good read too. So if you find it, great. Number four is the death of Superman came poly bag. My man Tony's looking for this. I know I have I know I built I know I bought at least two copies of it because I have one poly bag and one I actually read it. And then what happens I bought the graphic novel which shows the whole death of Superman. So that was fine. That sold 3 million copies. This one right here, he's looking for this one. Definitely, my man Tony's definitely looking for that one. And bam, look at that. It's polygraph. I know I have two copies because I read it. I read this. So this one, right, this copy right here, I said, you know what? This is gonna make me some money, but it sold 4.2 million copies. Now, 20 years ago, if I'd have realized that, if I'd have realized that if they sell over a million copies, your shit ain't gonna be worth much. I would have just bought, I would probably say <laughs> whatever, but guess what? I got caught up in the craze. So I thought I was going to pay off my college education. Next is X-Force. Number one. This sold 5 million copies. And it, of course, it came like this in a poly bag. With, look, no one's collector's issue. Bam. With a free trading card enclosed. Well, yeah. See, look at that. Wow. Now, here's the funny thing is. Bam! That's a, that's number two. Okay. Uh-oh. Can I make this a hat trick? Bam! Look at that. Three copies of this sucker. It was $1.50. 25% off. 20% off at the place where I bought it. And ever since I read it, so you know I bought another one. So I at least have four or five of these suckers. And I was like, wow. Yes, I wonder the reason why it sold 5.15 million copies. And guess what? You can still find this somewhere. I'm pretty sure you can. Matter of fact, I might go dollar bin hunting soon. Or they call dumpster diving in comics. To see if I could find something cool like that. That's fine. But that was the number two of all time. Guess which one was the number one of all time? Peek, whoop, peek, whoop. Now, to show you this, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this over this way. Oh, don't mind this. Don't mind this mess right here. Don't mind the mess. This is how I live. Organized mess. I don't have OCD yet, but it's an organized mess. But anyway. Now, here's the thing. X-Men number one. Seven point one million copies. Seven point one million copies, which means that today you could probably find this. Now, check this out. Here is two comics right here. Now, like I said, look, I bought it at a dollar fifty. And I was going to three different comic book stores and I bought all this stuff. Here's one single one right here, which you know I read. Here's another three. There's three of them in here. Look at that. Three, five, six. Six copies of this. That's cover A. Here's cover B. With Gambit, Rogue, and one. And three of them in here. That's four copies of that. Man. Number C. Two copies here. One copy there. Same book, different different covers. And this one right here. Now what happened is, there's another number one. In which has all, which hooks up all three of them as what they call a gateful cover. Now you can, that, yes, like me, like a lot of people, I was one of the people who helped them sell 7 million copies of this. Now if you think about this, you can still get it. I don't know how much it costs right now. Maybe I might do how much. Maybe I might look and see how much it costs. But like I said, because it sold that many, it's still attainable. I thought I was gonna pay off my college tuition with this shit. And now, like a million, like a lot of those million other people, I'm stuck with these. I'm stuck with these. But hey, it's always worth the adventure. So with that in mind. Oh, this is done by Jay Lee. Oh, you know what? The funny thing is, these are the top selling of all time. But I found these recently in this stack. These are all in a box. I found this one again. Codename Strike Force. Now this one's signed by the the artist. Didn't sell very well, and it's and, you know. <laughs> it's worth like two or three bucks, but look at that signature. That was pretty cool. X Men two eighty one. It's worth about ten bucks, and look at it's signed by the artist. First appearance of Bishop. If you don't know who Bishop is, you'll find out signed but other than that that's it hope you have a great day